So let's get some enclosures. And where better than to put one literally right here. Um, now I did say this was going to change. How about we put the Hammond Creation Center here. And we have this, except we can't do that. Except we can do that, actually. I have an idea. So. Hmm. We, mm, that screws it up, because I want the path to go around the side of the center. Okay. So now they don't have paths, because, yes. Pause, we take this, and we put it here, and here, and here. Yeah. Okay, so all of this is no longer necessary. Okay, um, now we can fit a Hammond Creation Center in there, like that, like so. Okay, that looks gross there, I'll fix that up. No, I won't. <laughs> Let's be real, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fix that up. Um, like, I'm pedantic with certain things, and then there are other things where I'm just like, you know, I could not give any less of a shite. Um, we're gonna put, like, Struthiomimus and Gallimimus and things inside here. So we'll just need a light steel fence. We're not gonna need much in terms of protection. Uh, and it doesn't actually have to be that big either. Okay, so now if we look at that, that's our thing right over there. Let's just get rid of all of the forest. Now the reason I'm doing this is because we can always just add it later. We have unlimited funds. Well, look at that, there's a little drop of water. How cute. Bam, we can do water like that, but because I want to make these kind of random as well. Um, um Let's see, let's see, hmm. Oh, another, another thing, another fancy thing, is that if you have electrified fences, that will power all of the, um, uh, the viewing galleries and platforms that you have attached to your fences, which is, I think, is pretty fantastic. Um, we'll put this bad boy here. This bad boy. Here. So then that's basically all of that done. Then we'll get a large substation. We'll put it just there. Like so. We don't want the pylons inside of the enclosure. So we won't. Now, there are expedition centers and fossil centers and research centers, but I don't think that you can actually use these in this. So I'm not very sure if I should really even have that. Um, and then I want, I want the ranger center and stuff to be kind of central, right? Uh, let us quickly connect that. Oops, I got rid of it. I keep doing that.
Hả? Đây đi. That's annoying. À. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, if we get a nice big central thing, right? And that's that's like the big main thing, and then and then we'll have lots of little <laughs> things that'll come out after. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> they need food, and we want it where it's visible. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, that's visible. Then we want to have our ranger station. See, I'm thinking long con here. Probably in the middle. Uh, our ranger station here. And our ACU center here. I like, I like. Okay, and then we just need a small substation right of it here, like so. And we can make this direct for now. It doesn't actually make it all the way, which is annoying. So I like I like spreading them out a little bit more, so you don't have that little stupid gap where you've got the pylons basically touching each other. That very very always annoys me. Um, Okay, so we have a ranger center, we have an ACU center, so now if any of these little buggers escape, we'll be fine. I did the wrong thing, but that's fine. We want them to have awesome reload speed. Um, and accuracy, 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 and one more accuracy, because they are the worst shots you've ever seen in your life. Um, I'm not even joking. Reload speed, accuracy, accuracy, reload speed, and we'll go with one more accuracy. Ta da! Okay, I've never needed the scheduling, so I'm not going to put it in the scheduling for now. Um, then, let us get our very first two, two dinosaurs. Let's go with success rate, because I like uh, an extra success rate. We'll go with capacity and capacity. Then, I'm just going to look, right, because this is the Struthiomimus I got is currently 100%. The Gallimimus is 66. Okay, Struthiomimus, modify our genome. We're going to go with the... Uh, let's go with the Savannah pattern, because I've been running the other pattern the whole time. This is lifespan, so we've got cardio strength, and that increases its lifespan by quite a bit, and I like to have dinosaurs that last a little bit longer. Resilience, we've got immune response. This increases their resilience and their lifespan a little bit as well, and then another lifespan... Let's see. Brain aging. So the rating goes up, obviously, the defense and the lifespan. Brain aging gives a 
large amount of life spent, so we're going to do that. Now, this reduces our egg viability, hatching viability by 14%, so viability is now 57. Um, and that's with all of the modifications that we've made. So 57 plus 20, 50, 77% viability, so there's a 23% chance that the egg will fail. Um, I do very much like those odds. We're gonna do four Struthiomimus in here, and then four Gallimimus in here. So we're gonna let those go. Once those are released, BAM! We'll have visitors.